the superficial peroneal nerve and remember after supplying these two muscles uh, you know uh, superficial peroneal nerve it becomes cutaneous and then it ascends, descends down into the front of leg and then it supplies here the skin of the dorsum of the foot and one important thing is sometimes it was asked in an exam you know pg entrance exams that was about the nerve supply of the medial side of the greater toe if they ask what is the nerve supply like if you pick a needle here on the medial aspect of the greater toe what is that nerve, nerve carrying the pain sensations so the answer remember it will be superficial peroneal nerve right in the upper aspect if you if you see this dorsal uh, you know greater toe on the medial side upper half of the medial side by superficial peroneal nerve lower portion medial plantar nerve remember this don't get confused with saphenous nerve saphenous nerve of course is supplying here skin on the medial malleolus and the medial border of the foot but the territory of this saphenous is up to the ball of the greater toe so saphenous area uh, the cut is cutaneous area innervated by saphenous nerve reaches up to here so medial side of the greater toe upper half by superficial peroneal nerve lower half by medial plantar right similarly on the lateral aspect of the little toe on the lateral aspect of the little toe the skin on the upper half will be by superficial peroneal nerve and the lower half will be by lateral plantar nerve and not by sural nerve don't confuse with sural nerve again sural nerve will supply the little border of the skin the little border of the foot but up till the ball of the little toe that is the head of the fifth minute parcel that region of sural nerve reaches to this level so both the sides superficial peroneal nerve reaches to the skin except to this first interdigital cleft and that's why deep left. okay